Yeah, I've got the men of the moment with me at the moment. I bet you just didn't want that to end. <laughs> well, um, it's always a pleasure batting with AB. Uh, you know, wonderful partnership again. It's our second double hundred partnership. I had one last year as well in Mumbai. When he got 133 and today 129 again, you know, he's just an absolute legend. Gave me so much confidence in there. I started off slowly, but he just took over and, uh, you know, you, you, you saw what he can do when he gets set. Yeah, at one stage he was on 100 and you were on 50. Did you feel the urge to catch up with him? Not at all. Um, as I said but before in my last 200s as well, never thought I'm going to get one. But, uh, you know, when, when the Chinaman was bowling and I had him for three sixes, he came up to me, he said, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I said, no, just keep quiet. I don't want to hear it. So I just kept watching the ball and kept hitting it and eventually, uh, you know, got to the three-figure mark, figure mark, which was um, irrelevant in terms of what we wanted to achieve as a team. But, you know, when you get 250-odd, um, get a partnership with AB of double 100 and get 100 yourself and watch his 100, I can't um, ask for more as a batsman. Yeah, AB, it looked like a fairly slow wicket from the outset. How did you manage to time it to perfection right from ball one? Uh, I, I actually didn't feel too good in the beginning. Um, it was slow, like you say, and difficult to time it in the beginning. But like some of my previous knocks, uh, one or two in the middle, and you just sort of uh, grow confident from that. Always a pleasure batting with him. Um, with my, at my age of 32, I'm, I'm carrying it a bit heavier than him. He's looking much fitter than me. Um, but my secret's very, very simple. My wife came to watch me today, so, yeah. <laughs> Credit to the wife, as it should be. Now, you obviously made batting look very easy at the start. You, you capitalised really on the spinners. Was that a plan? Sorry, I missed you there. You capitalised against the spinners. Was that a plan? Um, look, Jadu actually bowled really well. He wasn't too easy. The other spinners missed their marks a little bit more often than needed. Um, we didn't really think about it too much. He'll tell you that we were just thinking of watching the ball and keeping that rhythm going. Once we got on top of them, um, it was difficult to stop. Now, Rami has mentioned that he didn't see you two talking too much in the middle. Is that because of the understanding you have? Yeah, but we mentioned that before as well. I mean, uh, professional cricketers know what, what needs to be done out there and, uh, you know, when you have to step up at the big occasion. And, and today was a great example of how AB stepped up. I wanted to play the anchor. Then when it was my time in the end, you know, he sort of held back. Um, no, well, not really, but <laughs> I got more of the strike in the end. That's why I, will do, I was able to hit those sixes. But yeah, with him, don't need to say much. I know he'll push the fielders. Um, I, he's thinking exactly what I'm thinking. So the understanding is so good that we don't need to chat too much. It's only when we're trying too hard or losing our shape that we tell each other, you know, base strong or how many runs needed in the over and stuff like that. But nothing apart from that. And just lastly, this has got to be enough this time, hasn't it? Well, as I told AB, don't remind me of, uh, you know, what he was talking about. I don't want to hear that either. We just got to go out there and execute our plans and hopefully come out on top. All right, thanks for your time, guys. Well played once again. Thank you. Cheers.